In this video, we solve problem 6.3.10 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. We're told that three randomly selected households are surveyed. The numbers of people in the households are one, three, and eight people. Assume that samples of size n equals two are randomly selected with replacement from the population of one, three, and five, or excuse me, one, three, and eight. Construct a probability distribution table that describes the sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers when samples of size n equals two are randomly selected. Does the mean of the sample proportions equal the mean of or equal the proportion of odd numbers in the population? Do the sample proportions target the value of the population proportion? Does the sample proportion make a good estimator of the population proportion? Listed below are the nine possible samples. And the first thing we're asked to do is construct the probability distribution table with the possible sample proportions and the corresponding probabilities. In order to solve this problem, I'm going to work it on my paper for you. And then I will just talk you through how we come up with this probability distribution table. Okay, so here's the problem statement again. So we've got uh, three randomly selected households, they're surveyed, and there's one person in this house, there's three people in this house, and there's eight people in this house. Um, so the population consists of the one, the three, and the eight. It's the count, um, each value in that population represents the count of the people in that house. Now, the, first, the next part of the problem statement says, um, Assume that samples of size n equals two are randomly selected with replacement from the population of one, three, and eight. So you've got three values to choose from and we're selecting with replacement. So the first time you choose, you've got possibilities of one, three, and eight being your outcomes, because you could either choose this one, this one, or this one. And then you put that house sort of back into the mix and then you choose again. So you could choose one the first time and then you could choose this one, this one, or this one. So you could choose the house with one person, three people, or eight people. Or you could choose this one, then you put it back in, and then you could choose any one of those three houses the next time. And of course, if you, you could choose the one with eight people, and then you could choose any one of those the next time. So you've got three possibilities for your first choice and three possibilities for your second choice because you're sampling with a replacement. So there are nine possible samples. You could choose one, this house twice, one then one, and you could do one then three, one then eight, three then one, three then three, or three, then eight, then eight, then one, and eight, then three, or eight, then eight. So we've got nine options, which is just exactly the result we would expect using the multiplication counting rule. So you've got three options for that first choice and then three options for the second choice, and you just multiply them together to get the total number of options. And then these are the samples that we've chosen. Okay, now let's go back to the problem statement. It says, construct a probability distribution table that describes the sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers when samples of size n equals two are randomly selected. So what I want for each of these is a population proportion, or I said population proportion. It's a sample proportion, sorry. Now sample proportions are denoted by p hat, not p, but p hat. And we want p hat to be the proportion of odd numbers in that sample. Well, in each sample, you've got two numbers and in this sample, we've got two odd numbers. So you've got two out of two. So the population 
or that sample proportion is one. Here you have two odd numbers, so two out of two. Two out of two simplifies to one. Here we've got one odd number, so the proportion is one half. We've got two odd numbers out of two, so that's a one again, two odd numbers out of two. Then you've got one odd number and one number that's not odd, so one out of two. Like another, and then all of these are both one out of two. Because you've got one odd number and one even number. And then both of these are even. So you have no odd numbers here. It's that zero out of two, which we know to be zero. So those are our sample proportions, p hat. And what was the next thing that we're asked to do? It says, construct a probability distribution table that describes the sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers when samples of size n equals two are selected. So these are all the proportions. It looks like we've got three values. You can either have a, a sample proportion of zero, a sample proportion of one half, or a sample proportion of one. So when I construct that probability distribution, I've got my p hat over here. And the possibilities are zero, one half, and one. And then for each of those, we could assign a probability. Well, we had nine different samples. And in one of those samples, we had a probability of, or a, a sample proportion of zero. So we've got a one out of nine chance of getting the sample proportion of zero. And then we have one, two, three, four out of nine chances. That's the probability of getting a one half. And then you've got one, two, three, four, also four out of nine. So this is the um, probability distribution that describes the sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers. That's what they asked for in part A. So let's go back to that homework question right here. And the sample proportions were 0, 1 half, or 0.5, and 1. And the pro probabilities were 1 ninth, and 4 ninths, and 4 ninths. And if you add those together, you get 9 ninths, which is 1, which is what we want. OK, great. And then the next part of the question says, choose the correct answer below. The proportion of odd numbers in the population is not equal to the, or is not equal to the mean of the sample proportions. And then it asks for proportion of even numbers in the population. And it's comparing that to the mean of the sample proportions of odd numbers. Okay, so they're asking about sample proportions of odd numbers or the mean of the sample proportions of um, odd numbers. So let's go back to this this paper. Um, so we need to find the mean of the sample proportions. To find the mean of the sample proportions, we take each of these values and we multiply by the corresponding probability. Zero times one ninth is zero. One half of four ninths is two ninths and one times four ninths is four ninths. If we add those together, that's going to give us 6 over 9. So that's 3 times 2 over 3 times 3. So we have a mean of the sample proportions of 2 thirds. And then we want to compare that um, to the mean of the population, or not the mean, then we want to co compare that to the population proportion of the number of odd numbers. So p hat was a proportion of odd numbers in the sample. p is the population proportion. Of odd numbers in the sample or in the, the population this time. 
Well, two out of three numbers, the population was it consisted of one, three, and eight. Two out of three um, were odd. So P hat is two thirds, or excuse me, P, the population proportion is two thirds. So the population proportion was two thirds and the mean of the sample proportions was also two thirds. And that is to be expected. So it says we should choose the correct answer below. The proportion of odd numbers in the population is equal to the mean of the sample proportions, and it should be of odd numbers, but uh, they don't give us that option here. I think it's just this last one. The proportion of odd numbers in the population is equal to the mean of the sample proportions, and they're the sample proportions of odd numbers as well. So that's D. And then the last part of the question says, choose the correct answer below. And then it's asking whether the sample proportions target the proportion of odd numbers in the population um, or not, and then whether or not sample proportions make good estimators for population proportions. And it turns out that they do. Um, sample proportions do target the population proportion. Um, so they are good estimators of the population proportion. So um, answer B is what we are looking for. The sample proportions target the proportion of odd numbers in the population. So sample proportions make good estimators of the population proportion. Yeah, that's what we want.